Hey, Sonic Graver here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are adding a baseline to our rhythmic kit that we had established last week. Let's go ahead and have a listen. So for our kick, we have channel one. For our ride, we have channel two. For our perk, we have channel three. And for our bass, we have channel four. Let's go ahead and pull up our MIDI environment window by hitting Command-0. You can see that the bass is highlighted and set to Instrument 4 and MIDI Channel 4 using our channel splitter and beautifully separated by our physical input. So it's a pretty basic bass line. There's not much to it besides that catchy rhythm. And each of these bars has the same rhythm. And so without further ado, we're going to switch over to Super Collider and I will show you the code that I have prepared for you that models after this very baseline. It is identical. So let's go ahead and see the code for that. All right, reviewing our parts, we have a P-Bind Def for my kick set to channel zero. Zero, of course, being zero in Super Collider and one in Logic Pro, and so on. And now I have my P bind def for my ride set to channel one, P bind def for my perk set to channel two, and so far last but not least, I have uh, my bass set to channel three as our instrument four and MIDI channel four in Logic. So let's go ahead and have a listen and you we'll be able to see that it is identical to what is in Logic Pro. And in case you don't believe me, let's go back to Logic Pro and just solo out the bass here. So you can see it is identical. So what is going on? Well, it really is just a matter of two things. The first is the MIDI note key and the next is the dir key. Let's start with the MIDI note key. So for the MIDI note key, I have a P seek made up of three P seeks. And you can see that with the exception of these values here, all of them are exactly the same. You can see that this is repeated twice, and then this is run through once, and this is also run through once. So this is E flat going for two bars, G flat going for one bar, and A flat going for another bar before repeating itself. Now before we go on to the dir key, let's go ahead and take a close look at the PSeq number of values in this index. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 in all of them. And you can see here going down to the dir key with a PSeq of three PSeqs. We also have 14 values in each of them. And of course, as you can guess here, as you can see here in the score, that they are all identical, also following the iteration pattern here. So, we will start with this first event, which is a note on event for a quarter of a beat, followed by a rest for half a beat, and then another note for a quarter of a beat, and another note for a quarter of a beat, and a, another rest for a quarter of a beat, and also another note for the quarter of the beat, and so on. So what is happening exactly? Well, with this rest value, this class rest, we will see that Super Clatter will pass a, a note event, any, any value that you would see here. And I'll, I'll get to these slashes in a minute on, on why that is so. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go back into logic and, and see for ourselves if this is following the, the case here. So just remember this first pattern, a quarter of the beat with a note on, quarter of a beat, half a beat of rest, quarter of a beat, quarter of a beat, quarter of a rest and quarter of a beat. So let's go ahead and see that. 
and we'll just highlight one because every bar has the same rhythm. All right, so we can see here that we have a quarter of a beat and half a beat of rest, followed by a quarter of a beat of a note and another note, a quarter of a beat of a rest, a quarter of a beat of a note, and then actually following is a half a beat of rest because I do a bit of syncopation here. Now, this is important just to see a little bit more closely that there are 14 instances of the note on event and the rest or, or lack thereof. So we have one here and then counting this as one, this whole thing as one, and then two, actually, excuse me, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So 14 events are taking place. We'll go back into Super Collider. And as we had established, 14 events here, and also 14 events here. So they do match. The MIDI note will match the, the number of values in the dir key. So the MIDI note key and also the dir key are working together. Now, before having uh, finished all this, initially I had all these to be zeros. Now you'll soon see that there really is no difference. I'm going to play them with the slashes. And now as it's playing, I'm going to go ahead and replace the slashes with zeros, which all amounts, of course, to 39 being our low E flat. And run that again. It did skip a little, so just go ahead and wait until it comes back. So you can see that it, it doesn't matter. Now, these slashes, the symbol here does tell SuperCollider that this is a rest in the event of being inside a mini note key. However, I think the class rest may somehow overwrite that meaning. I, I, I'm not sure, but whether it is zero, an actual value uh, set to something like 39, it doesn't matter whether it's a slash or a zero, uh, the rest will be set and it will be outputted. So that is composing a standard bass line in a nutshell. <laughs> I hope you like the demo. I do like my bass to be indeterminate, but if you want something for the restaurant or something, you know, it's almost like Super Collider is about to, you know, do some DJing, uh, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, that, that is how you would do a pretty standard, pretty simple bass line. I really, going back to Super Collider, I really find these rests quite handy. So I, I would encourage you to utilize this class, this rest class here, because it's, it's quite nice. So anyway, hope you enjoy that. Always be on the lookout for some sound experimentation every Thursday. And we'll add some harmony next week, and then maybe we'll have a, a nice little ensemble for maybe some violin in the future. So anyway, yes, uh, thank you for watching and listening, and I will see you next time. Until then, happy composing, happy experimenting, and have a great week. Bye-bye.